Welcome back, everybody. I'm your host, Kelly Sparks, aka Redbeard. So, today I have with me from the great state of Louisiana. This is from Arno, probably Arnoville. Arnoville, Arnoville. Made by the Bayou Titch Tech. Not really sure. They like to uh, use the French slang on some of these so it's probably tech or who knows Bayou we'll call it tech Bayou Tech Brewing uh, this is the LA Louisiana 31 Acadie French Farmhouse Ale we'll use our Baton Rouge got my bottle opener Oops. Oh, bunny, watch out. Watch out, bunny. I don't want to eat. No, get out, give it to me. So, I want to read off. Let's go ahead and pour it up. So, this is a farmhouse ale. Looked on another website. It is rated 20 on the IBU scale. Mm. <laughs> She's like, I can smell it. I'll give her a little bit. Oh, that's not very much, bunny. So anyway, I'll read off the website to you guys. I got the BayouTechBrewing.com pulled up. Some of the world's most delightful farmhouse breweries dot the French countryside. Humbly turning out elegant yet rustic ales using grains and hops grown on the property and on nearby farms. As descendants of survivors of La Grande Derangement, <laughs> the Great Derangement, we're proud of our French heritage and we're delighted to honor their brewing tradition. Wow. Let's make a lot of noise. It's so weird. There's still a little bit of the, uh, the freaking, what did I have last? What I had yesterday in the bowl. I hadn't washed the bowl. Bonnie gets a dirty bowl. She don't care. Anyway, we're the rustic farmhouse out. We've named LA 31 Acadie in memory of our Acadian homeland in rugged, rugged eastern Canada. Hey, French Canadian. Acadie is an amber colored, light body farmhouse ale with tangerine like hop aroma and a soft, sweet malt flavor and mellow bitterness. So now that's that's about the right amount of hops. Ooh, that tastes like something else. What is that? I've had that before. Well, I've had something similar to that. Acadia is an amber-colored, light body farmhouse ale with tangerine-like hop aroma and soft, sweet malt flavor. I already read that line. Crafted with malts from European farms. German saphir hops. Saphir. And raw Louisiana cane sugar. Katie offers complex flavors that tapers off to a dry finish. Pair this brew with most any cuisine and you'll experience its uncanny ability to bring contrasting flavors together from pickled okra and fresh garden tomatoes to a nice hogshead cheese and cutting board layered with tasso and andouille. So I like the bitterness on this one. It's very mild, but it's got other good flavors that come along with it. What is that? It does, I've had something similar to that, but I can't remember. It's been too long since I've, since I've drank beer. Pairs well with Camembert. I guess that's a cheese, Brie, or Brie. Chevy, 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 Chevy. Uh -huh. Tried seafood platter, uh -huh. chicken, chicken and sausage jambalaya, shrimp po' boy, tasso, and asparagus crepes. Let's get a little butt. Come here. Let's see how Bonnie likes it. Come here. Come here. Try that. Try that. Try it. Try it. Try it right there. Don't lick me. No? 
You're not a fan? You not want any more? You want some more? You want some more? Come here. I don't think Bonnie's a fan of this one. Hmm? Hmm? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Yet she licks the table. She wouldn't drink it out of the bowl, but she's licking the table. So maybe it's because it's got that other beer still in it. It's bubbling up. It's so weird. It's like it's it, like how Snap, Crackle, Pop, you know, Rice Krispies. You know, it's Snap, Crackling, Popping. It's so weird. Mmm. The hot gusher. I forgot. That's what I had yesterday. Or earlier. <laughs> uh, so, I don't know if I would, I don't know if I'd purchase this one again. It's, it tastes okay, but for me, if I'm going to drink beer, I'm going to drink it for two reasons. I'm either eating hot food, and I'm going to drink a lot of beers with it in lieu of water, or I'm going to drink something heavy with a lot of flavor, like a dark beer, or a stout, Imperial Stouts. Commented that earlier, press man. Talking to press man on, in the comments, and uh, old Uncle Eddie, cousin Eddie, cousin Eddie, old cousin Eddie. He uh, was talking to me and gave me some uh, ideas on some other beer to try to pick up. I'll see if I can find them if I can. Cool. If not, sorry. I don't know what that flavor is. I don't know. I can't pick it apart. Uh, it's, I mean, to me, it's, it's a decent beer. I wouldn't buy it again, personally. But, hey, it's just my opinion. All right, that's all I got on this one. I don't think there's anything else. Yeah, ABV 5.7, IBU 20, malt, European malts and Louisiana cane sugar, hops. Yeah, I tasted the hops on that one. What? You you were up here. You would come up here? Come here. Come here. You wanna try that again? You wanna try it again? Huh? No? <laughs> She's like, wash my bowl, damn it. What about this one? No? I think she's a stout girl. She loves her some like some chocolate milk stouts or uh, mm -hmm. last one I had in here. What was that? Oh, she loved it. I think it was that uh, that Imperial Stout from uh, Martin Brothers that I had. She loved that. Mm. Yeah, it's okay. It's it's just a lager. No, it's an ale. It's an ale. What is an ale? What's the difference between an ale and a lager? What? Come here. Uh, <laughs> Ale and lagers are each made using different strains of yeast. Simply put, lagers are brewed using bottom fermenting strains of yeast. Hush held at colder temperatures, while ales are brewed with a top fermenting yeast that operates at warmer temperatures. Ha! Huh. Thank you, Thrillist. <laughs> right on. So that's all I got. I'm not going to cut it off. Uh, don't forget, check the description below for links to my Teespring page, Redbeard's Awesome Apparel. Try to add new sh designs in there. Just, just something will grab your eye and you're like, oh, that's badass. I'm going to order that. Uh, Link to my Tattered Beans page. Order some coffee from me. It's delicious. And uh, if you want to help support me and my dependencies, and don't mind you, this is all for educational purposes only. Alcoholism is real, and it is not a good thing. So be safe. Don't drink and drive. Check out the Bearded Idiots. Like always, drink some whiskey, drink some beer, share it with your friends and family. Have a nice day. Y'all take care.
Oh, foamy. Oh, it's so foamy. 